Hi, welcome to Speak Out. My name is Ken Sander, and tonight's issue is should New Yorkers carry handguns or should they be allowed to have handguns? Uh, the number is 475-1550, and you can call in and we can talk about it. Lines are lighting up. I guess it's a good subject. Hi, you're on the air. Hey, Ken, how are you doing? Okay, how are you? Um, fine. I, I think this is a very good topic for tonight. Um, first of all, uh, I on occasion have been in the city now for about 20 years. Right. Um, on several occasions, I've been held up, you know, about, uh, I had codes taken from me, you name it, my watch. Um, but however, I think if you carry a piece or you're carrying a gun, I think you're only adding to the situation. Um, mm -hmm. it, I think it should be pro-choice, of course, if New Yorkers want to we'll carry handguns or not, but I think if uh, people in general start walking around with weapons, it's only, uh, you know, creating a society in which their evil is only superseded by more evil. I mean, someone's walking around and with you, he's going to look and you get mugged and you pull out a piece and you, you know, you could take this man's life. That's true. I think you're only creating, you know, a worse situation and you start big dick. See, that's the case. <laughs> uh, hi, you're on the air. Hi, man. Yeah, how you doing? Fuck you! Cool, cool hi. That it's just, how do people feel about it? Hi, you're on the air. Yeah, I was wondering, are you also the cable doctor? Yes. Oh, you have dual roles. That's right. <laughs> okay, I'm just, just curious, and um, hopefully the guy that does taxi talk will give up the job to you, too. Okay. Thank you. Hi, you're on the air. Yes, uh, I was wondering if I can have my AV switch connected to two VCRs. All right, well, you have to call me on the other show. Thank you. Hi, you're on the air. Hi, Ken. Yes. I think it's good that people can have handguns so we can shoot people like you. Right. Fact. Fuck you. Hi, you're on the air. How you doing? How are you? All right. What do you think? Should we carry handguns yeah, or what? Definitely. definitely. Yeah. Okay. Shoot What's... people like you. All right. Sounds good. Thanks for calling. Bye bye. Hi, you're on the air. Hello, Ken. Yes. I was thinking that if the criminals, you know, you're trying to give guns to people to fight the criminals, wouldn't that make it just as easy for the criminals themselves to get guns? Because if you're opening this market up for the just plain citizens, that mm -hmm. the, the average citizen is not going around looking for a gun. It's the average criminal that's going around trying to find any that's weapon. He good point. Can, so it just make it twice as easy. That's a very valid point. You know, a lot, of, and that's what the, one of the big arguments that the police have is that a lot of the illegal guns get into the system by burglaries. Like uh, most people keep uh, their gun near their bed, most likely, and so a criminal come in, rob, your, rob your house, and steal your gun, and it would get into the system, the illegal Hello? system. So that's an issue. Hi, you're on the uh, air. Hi, I called before um, with a very valid point. I think it was one of your first calls. Yeah. Fuck you, you got clucker. Hello. Hi, you're on the air. Hi. How you doing? Okay. War. What is it good? Hi, you're on the air. Huh? Hi, you're on the air. Um, I don't think the city was willing to pay for something like that. You know, it's probably added, not. It's an it's, added expense. Um, well, it's a good idea, but you're probably yeah, it's right. a good concept. But what's the chance that Mayor Dinkins, who can't even clean up the city, I fucked your mother up the ass? Yeah, I think maybe we should. It's 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 you know that's an interesting point he's making, but uh. But, you know, uh, then again, we have to see what happens. That's what this show is about, to discuss these issues. Hi, you're on the air. Hello, Ken. Yes. I was wondering how you would think that it would be possible to regulate the sale of these guns. And want to know if you suck dick. All right. Well, in answer to your second question, no. And I'm not sure how we would regulate the sales. Hi, you're on the air. Um, I think you need a federal law first if, if you want to have a, a, a law in New York City against guns. Um, right now, there's this big debate in, in the nation whether or not we should be the hell out of the privilege to have guns uh, as citizens or we should not. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the NRA has, for the last, I don't know, century been fighting for uh, right. the privilege of citizens to carry guns. Fuck you, God Hmm. Hi, you're on the air. Hi. How you doing? Okay, how are you? I want to suck your dick. Hi, you're on the air. Hello. Um, I'm... <laughs> Hi, you're on the air. Uh, ignorant. Hello? Yes. Uh, ignorant people like that are only promoting the mm. problem and the situation. Um, I don't mean... Hello? Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, I don't mean to insult the man, but uh, if he wants to shoot someone, then let him go out to, you know, goddamn Iraq. Why don't he join, join the army? Well, see that? I knew he had a bad connection. Hi, you're on the air. Hi, you're on the air. You know, the problem is Dinkins is a lousy nigga. Hi, you're on the air. Hi, you're on the air. Fuck you, cockhead. Oh. Hello? Hello. Good evening. 
Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good evening. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I want to thank everybody for calling us, uh, except for those of you that interrupted the show with your rudeness. But uh, everybody else, thanks for calling. It's an interesting question, and uh, we certainly don't have any answers, but we just got some uh, interesting opinions, and a couple of them are very interesting. And uh, hope we, you know, open some ways of thinking. Keep watching. We're on every Sunday night at eleven o'clock, and we'll see you. Thanks and good night. Dave, uh, do you and Paul have any aspirations of being on late night television 20 years from now? If so, I wonder what kind of entertainment your loyal television viewers could expect in the year uh, 2010. Just speculating, uh, Debbie Steele, Austin, Texas. Uh, you know, that's a pretty good question. I, I have a feeling, I have a pretty strong feeling that Paul and I will have a television show 20 years from now. I don't, I don't know that it will be exactly like the show we're doing here, but I think in 20 years, geez, maybe... Well, welcome back to issue discussion period. We've been talking about the plan to return to the pre-1995 Canadian border configuration before the war. A nutty, nutty issue. Yeah, let's go to the phones now. Uh, hi there, you're on the air. Hi. Uh, you know, I think the real uh, the problem with this is that you suck, Letterman! Uh, okay. Hello, please. You're on the air. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, aren't you the guy who used to do the TV show about the funny animals? Yeah, if we can stick to the topic, I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much for calling. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, Paul. Hi, Dave. Hi. I love the show. Thank you very much. Thanks for calling. You know, uh, most of the people who support this thing re don't realize that uh, you guys suck. Uh, hello, you're on the air. <laughs> But how could he, unless somewhere he believes we're not going to actually come through with, what, with what's going on? Anyway, while we're waiting for the calls to be screened, because the calls are screened, and we're going to try to eliminate uh, those obscene calls we've been getting, uh, I wanted to, th uh, well, I don't know if I want to thank, but uh, those of you who caught David Letterman Friday night that did a little parody on the show, and I thought it was cute, and I actually appreciate the acknowledgement that at least somebody on that level is watching the show, and I want to thank them for notifying me that they were doing, that they were doing some kind of parody on this show, and I appreciate them letting me know, and I did get it, and actually they were right on about it and so that was kind of cute but anyway back to the question does Saddam think we're bluffing